All right, let's take a look at the homework for intermediate two, part one. So our task here was to create a function that is going to give us the sum of the elements in an array. And th the way we're going to do this is we are going to pass the array to the function via pointer. So we need a function. We're going to call it, uh, we'll just call it sum. It's going to return an int. That's going to be the sum. And it is going to take a pointer to an int. We'll call this one, we'll just call it p. That's fine. Uh, now, it takes the pointer to the error array, of course, but it also needs one more thing. Because just with a pointer, you don't know how big or small the array is, so you don't know when to stop uh, indexing into the array and adding shit up. And if you index past the end of an array, it's, it's never a good time. You never want to do that. So, we also need to pass into this function the size of the array, and we'll say int uh, size. Uh, now we want to create an int. We'll call the int. Uh, we'll call it sum, and we'll set it initially to zero. And at the end of the function, we're going to return the sum. But somewhere in between there, we're going to have to calculate it. So what are we doing? Well, obviously we're going to be looping, right? We're looping through all of the elements of the array. So we go four, and let's just go int i is equal to zero as long as i is less than size i plus plus and that will be our index into the array right the pointer points to the beginning of the array that we're going to sum and the index is going to run from zero until size minus one so it's going to run for size elements and then for every element there all we're gonna do is we're gonna go sum plus and equals uh, pointer dereferenced by indexing in it by i and so this will index into hopefully every element of the array grab the values add them to sum accumulate them in there and then return so if we go int uh, result is equal to sum, what do we put in here? Well, we can start from the first element of the array, which is ARR, and then the size is going to be four, right? Four elements in the array. And if we run this, build it, and run it, and we go and we step over, the result is 10, which is the sum of these elements. Makes sense. Now, an interesting thing with this is you don't have to use it to sum up the entire array. You could do it for parts of the array. It's free, right? So let's say I only want to sum the middle two elements. All I got to do is pass it array at, wait, at one, right? And tell it just the array is going to be too long. So now this function is going to start pointing here and it's only going to sum up two elements. So this one and this one. So now the result should be six. Run over that. And, well, five. Okay, so I, I failed elementary school math, but I passed pointers and that's all that matters.